The acting world is in mourning with the passing of TV actor Morgan Stevens, who was found dead on Wednesday at 70 years of age. The actor hadn't been seen or heard from in a few days, prompting a neighbor to call for a wellness check on Wednesday, when he was found in his kitchen and pronounced dead on the scene, via TMZ. Police sources reveal that there were no signs of foul play and he most likely died of natural causes. The actor was born Calvin Morgan Stevens on October 16, 1951 in Knoxville, Tennessee. While he went to college at the University of Tennessee for advertising, he became unhappy with that pursuit and joined the Coast Guard for a year. He was stationed near New York City and took in several Broadway plays, which sparked his love for acting, prompting his return to school to switch majors to theater arts. After graduating he moved to Los Angeles, where he quickly found work, landing a role on the revival of Peyton's Place in 1979. He also had small roles on One Day at a Time, Quincy Emmy and the Waltons before he landed his first major role in the TV series Fame. He played teacher David Reardon on the first two seasons of the show from 1983 to 1984 before leaving the series. He would go on to guest star on a number of other hit TV shows like The Love Boat, Airwolf, Magnum P.I., MacGyver and Murder She Wrote in the 1980s. He also starred in the short-lived series A Year in the Life alongside Sarah Jessica Parker, before his career was derailed after he was a victim of police brutality. The actor claimed he was beaten by two LAPD jailers after he was apprehended for a DUI after a minor traffic accident. He left the jail with a broken nose, a fractured cheek, a dislocated jaw and nerve damage and sued the LAPD, ultimately settling out of court in June 1991, with a Los Angeles Times report claiming the city was unwilling to let the case go to court due to the Rodney King case. He returned to work briefly with a TV movie Criminal Behavior and a guest starring role in The Boys of Twilight in 1992 but he didn't work again until landing the role of Nick Diamond on Melrose Place in 1995. He also guest starred in One West Waikiki, Murder One, High Incident, and Walker, Texas Ranger in the late 1990s, though he hasn't been on screen since.